Aranayaka is a tranquil village in the wet zone of Sri Lanka, surrounded by mountainous terrain. The people of the area depend upon agriculture as a livelihood. The environmental degradation in the mountains is affecting the farming activities in the Aranayaka Valley through soil degradation, soil erosion, depletion of natural springs and the destruction of biodiversity. Damayanti Godamulla, the leading figure of the Community Development Centre of Aranayaka and the visionary who reintroduced traditional tubers and yams to the community, held a series of meetings in the area to discuss the programme. These meetings were dominated by the women of the village who were interested in seeking viable, nutritious additions to the meals of their families and increasing their income by growing and selling tubers and yams. The CDC also achieved another goal, that of increasing the biodiversity in home gardens through this activity. Damayanti was able to re-energize the community and pool their knowledge of the traditional varieties of yams and tubers. Mr. Kiriapu, Mr. Heenbanda and Mrs. Podimanike of Kalwana village were among the elderly community members who shared their traditional and indigenous knowledge with the CDC. With a solid knowledge background and community support, Damayanti approached the small grants program of the UNDP for funding support. Mrs. Punchihami, following the footsteps of her late father, Mr. Kiriapu, the guru of traditional tubers and yams, shares her knowledge as a resource person for CDC. The home gardens of Aranayaka are rich with indigenous varieties of organically grown tubers and yams. The CDC has identified 93 varieties of indigenous tubers and yams, of which 57 are preserved within the home gardens of Aranayaka. The traditional methods of various preparations of the yams had all but disappeared from Sri Lankan society. The CDC, along with the women in the community, researched and experimented in preservation and various types of cooking methods, which has found a niche market in the area. The yams have also replaced the school meal in Aranayaka, providing a nutritious snack for the children. Through this effort, the women in the village have found a source of income. They have contributed towards the conservation of agro-biodiversity. Most of all, they have become strong and motivated. <laughs>